In the wake of recent civil unrest following the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis, Niagara Falls is kicking off a new program called Building Bridges. As seven a strong program designed to foster a better relationship between police officers and children from the inner city. Diana and Legend. Niagara Falls City Police Officer Allie Mays well, I'm Allie. is on patrol. Have you ever been on it? But Monday's beat is different. Mays and other officers and Niagara County Sheriff's deputies are working to build relationships with these children from Niagara Falls. If we ever do go to their house, that's my friend. They're here to help me. They're not afraid of us. And we really get to build that community relationship with them. Mays is part of the Building Bridges program. For the next two weeks, the officers will be taking these 20 kids from Niagara Falls to visit various attractions. Organizers say it's being made possible through community partners. We've got a completely different view down here. than we Stop number one, Niagara Falls State Park. <laughs> for a ride on the Maid of the Mist. We got a wide range of activities, so hopefully everyone has fun in the different things we're doing. For participants like Legend Lewis, the attractions are fun, but she's interested in getting to know the officers as well. The 10-year-old says she doesn't know anyone personally in uniform. I don't really get to hang out with much people in general, and it's nice to be with um, authority figures. I hope that they see these officers again and be able to say, hey, listen, I remember him. He was the guy that, that uh, took me to the Maid of the Mist, played basketball with me. Right now, Building Bridges is slated to end in two weeks, but city officials hope to make the program more permanent. Reporting in the city of Niagara Falls, Allie Tui, 7 Eyewitness News.